Ever start something small and then discover it was fun to take it big? You read an awesome story and then you bring the whole thing to life for your friends and family. You bake a batch of chocolate chip cookies and they taste so good, you recruit friends to put on a whole bake sale. And then you use the money you earn to buy bikes for kids who've never had one. You have fun learning a new way to paint. Then you get together with your friends and paint a whole wall. You send a note to encourage someone. I hope you have a great day. And you also work with your friends to throw an entire surprise party. God created you to do amazing things on your own, but he designed you to do even more when you work together to share his love. And then others can see God at work in all of you. That's why cooperation is a fantastic way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Brandon, you ready for a jam session? You know it, John. Here we go. Thank you, everyone. We are the So and So Show Band, and we're here to rock your faces. Two, three, four.
Stick with the guitar? Let's stick with the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello all, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Hey, it's March. Yeah, but we're not marching. We're jamming. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know the show won't be able to continue if I don't do this. You are correct. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Booyah. Come on. Oh, no. March. Okay. Okay. Woo! All month long, we're in the midst of a big old jam session, and I love... To, what is that? Huh. You know what? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know who it sounds like. Who? Someone who knows stuff! Oh. Yeah, everybody! This is Han... Did he leave? Oh, this everybody! Right here. This is Han's... Everybody, this is Hans Decibel, and yeah, that's the one. Okay, okay, this is Hans Decibel. He's our resident sound expert. Huh? How you doing today, Hans? Why don't you get the... yeah, yeah. How you doing today, Hans? Yeah, uh, is there? Are you there, Hans? Hans, he's not there. Oh yeah, Hans! Ah! Oh, um, oh, I'm I'm a friend. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Brandon. I know that, 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 that. Yeah. Hello, Brandon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hello, John. Uh, hi. Sorry, I was no. <laughs> distracted. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You were. Um... What's your mind? Oh no no. Perfect. Oh. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, good well, job. Thank you. <laughs> I am working on a very important project. Yeah, we can tell. I mean, you're off on another world. Nine! No. I am not. I am on this world, this planet. Yeah, it's the planet Earth. Uh, okay, but what's your project, Hans? Are you, are you trying to document every sound there's known to man? I'm making music. Oh. Ooh. Don't you need instruments to make music? Nine, of course not, John. No, it's... There are music all around us mm -hmm. if we just listen. Sing fast. What? <gasps> Sorry. Nine! Wunderbar! This was exquisite! Oh, then you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't know, Hans. I don't, I'm not sure I've heard anything that sounds like music. Music is in the ear of the beholder, Brandon. <laughs> Everyone knows this. <gasps> May I pinch you? <laughs> no. Okay. May I pinch him? Oh, yeah, go for it. Why what? would you say that? Ah! Oh, oh. Perfect! Ow! Thank you for your sacrifice. Yeah, can you please explain to us what we're actually doing? Yeah, good, yeah, of course. We have been working together to create art. There are opportunities all around us. We just have to know where to find them. Listen. Wow. That's actually incredible, Hans. Yeah, this is correct. We make a good musical team. Uh, yeah, yeah. We should form a band and traverse the globe together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. What should the band be called? Uh, what should be called? Uh, uh, should be called? Sound Splosion. Mm. Boom. It's like an explosion of sound. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I, I got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I look forward to your call. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, <laughs> hey, thanks for coming by. Huh? Uh, yeah. I didn't think you had a phone. Nine. I don't have a phone. No. Just.
Ja, okay. Ja. Music is everywhere. Sound explosion. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas, how are you? Oh, we're great, Kellen. What are we talking about today? Well, today we're talking about the building of the tabernacle and how. Oh boy. Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story on the Mel Solomon story recap. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. How's it going, Melv? Here to help tell the story today? That's what I do, Kellen. I'm Melv Solomon here, as always, with my brother-in-law, Greg. Say hello, Gregory. Hello, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> tell what you tell, Kel, and I'll pipe in with a song when the mood strikes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Greg. The mood hasn't stricken yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it away, Kellen. Okay. You can find this story in the book of Exodus, the second book of the Bible. God's people, the Israelites, were wandering in the desert. God wanted a place to live among them. So, through a man named Moses, God told the people to build a sacred tent, or tabernacle. It was going to take a lot of planning and a lot of work to build, so the people were going to have to work together. Work together? I got the perfect song for that. Hit it, Greg. What? No. No, 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 no. What? Not that song, Greg. You know how I feel about that song. But I was just... You know what? Go on. Get out of here. Take a rest. I'll do this on my own. But I play... Go! Go ahead, Kellen. I just need a second to figure this uh, keyboard out. <laughs> it can't be too hard. Um, yeah. The people were going to have to work together. So God told Moses to have his brother and his nephews serve as priests in the tabernacle, which meant they would need workers who had the gift of sewing to help make robes for the priests. So, a needle pulling thread, am I right? Hit it, me. Make me a robe so shiny and new I'll wear it now, unless it goes moo No leather, everyone! Cruelty-free vestments! Sorry, oh, oh, sorry about that! Carry on, Kelly on! Thanks. The tabernacle was going to need more than just people who can make clothes. God had given special abilities to these two guys named Bezalel and Aholiab. They could work with metals like gold, silver, and bronze. They could also work with wood. God wanted the tabernacle to have lampstands made of pure gold and a golden ark to hold the Ten Commandments and a table for holy bread. Ooh, ooh, have I got a song for that? That's not, no. That's not it. Okay, hold on. Um, they also had an altar for burning incense. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, go back to the uh, the bread table. I have a, I have the perfect song. For the, that's not. The one. Okay. okay, sorry. That's not it. That's not I'm not really right. sure what you want me to do. Okay, bread table. Uh, they would give me a bread table. Bread table. Yeah, bread table. God told Moses exactly how the tabernacle should be built, and everyone wanted to contribute. People gave their talents. They gave materials. They took time to teach other people how to build and sew and craft. They all used their skills together. Yeah, skills. I like my skill to do this. That's not right. Uh, no, no, it's a, uh, hold on. Yeah, 
Hiss. What? Melv, do you think you might need to work together with someone? Someone like Greg? Greg! Come on, Greg. I, I, I can't do this anymore, Greg. I, buddy, I'm sorry. I, I thought that I could do this on my own, but I, I, it just isn't true. And, and besides, you and me, pal, we go together, right? We're like, we're like uh, peanut butter and jelly, ham and eggs, milk and... Uh, milk! Exactly, Greg. Milk and milk. Melvin Greg, come on. Back together again. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Kellen, go ahead and tell me one more thing. I have the feeling we're in for a big finish. Thanks. <laughs> when all the work was done, Moses looked it over. He found that the people had worked with one another and with God. So the tabernacle was built exactly as God wanted. That's it. Here we go. Hit it, Greg. If you've got a job to do, you've got to do it right. Especially if that job's for God, for Him you'll work all night. In the snow and in the rain and all kinds of weather. Doesn't matter when you work, long as you work together. Right, Greg? <laughs> all right, Kellen. Lesson learned. Back to you, my friend. Sorry, Kellen. That's enough of the quack. It is so no, fun. Uh, it's very fun. I didn't know that was on there. Very fun. See you, Melv. Could not have done it without you. Everyone has something they're good at. We all have some kind of talent. And there's a lot we can do on our own. But amazing things can happen when we use the gifts God has given us to work together. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, oh hey. Hey, Hans just sent me a clip. Oh, yeah. Clip. Reveal the question. When have you seen people work together? Yeah, uh, I see people work together all the time. This show and you and I work together. Yeah, working together can be something as huge as a, a giant crew of people putting up a building. Yeah, or as small as working on a school project with a friend. Yeah, we're about to work together to finish the show. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks for joining us this week, everyone. Yeah, until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the so-and-so show. See you soon. Yeah. High five. Yeah, teamwork, baby. I got it. Okay. Just hold it still. You, right. you keep moving it, don't you? No. You, you're not. Nope. <gasps> Is that the first time ever? Yes. I am never washing this hand again. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah. Big finish! Yeah! Yeah. Wunderbar! Uh. <laughs> Do you have any baby Ruths? I, I just don't like Wonder Bars. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>